Hi guys, welcome to the second part of our measuring tutorial, taking the measurements. You're going to need a pen and a measuring tape for this part of the tutorial. The first measurement we're going to do is the neck circumference. We're going to mark a few points around the neck to help us with this measurement. The first thing I'm going to do is just place my finger in the centre of her neck and press down on the bone at the centre of her neck. When I find that bone, I'm going to mark a line at my fingertip to indicate this point. We already have our side neck point marked from the previous video and I'm going to mark the back neck point. So tilt your head forward. I'm going to find this point by placing my finger on the bone at the base of the, the base of the neck and the top of the spine, the one that protrudes out the most. And I'm going to place a dot in the centre of that. Okay, turn around the point. To get our next circumference I'm going to start Put my measuring tape, the bottom of my measuring tape, on the dot at the back of her neck. I'm going to run this around the side of her neck and finish the measurement at the centre front. It's really important to make sure that you take in all three points with the bottom edge of the measuring tape. We're going to multiply that by two and that gives us our next circumference. The second measurement we're going to take is a cross chest. This is from the arm crease at one side of the body to the arm crease at the other. Just like so. Good. The next measurement we're going to take is the bust. This is around the biggest part of the bust. Lift your arms up, and it's where it's around our tape line. Turn around the front. It's really important on this part of taking this measurement to make sure that the tape is not falling down at the back, just like it is on the bottom. Lift your arm up again. Back up again. Good girl. Perfect. Sorry, I kind of slid up. Just make sure you follow your tape and put it around the tape. Okay? The next measurement we're going to take is the bus span, which is from this point to this point. Next, we're going to take the waist measurement. Again, this is along the next line down from our chest, the smallest part of the waist. Next, we're going to measure the drop waist. Push your arms up for a moment. Again, now that we have our, our, our lines marked out, it makes this much easier. Just make sure that I'm getting all my measurements. Perfect. Next, we're going to measure our hip. So that's again the next line down that we've marked for our previous video. Just making sure that you take this measurement the fullest part of the butt. Next, we're going to measure the side neck point to bust apex. This is the intersection from the line you marked here and the shoulder line of the dress. Down to the bust apex. Next, we're going to measure from the side neck point down to the waist. It's important to make sure that the measure tape runs parallel to the center line of the body for this measurement. Perfect. Next, we're going to measure mid shoulder to, that, to diagonal waist. So I'm going to place the measure tape at the center of the balance shoulder, and I'm going to measure diagonally across her body the centre of the waist. Next I'm going to measure waist to hip. This is the waist point here down to the hip. Now I'm going to measure waist to skirt end. I'm going to place the measure tip on the waistline. I'm going to measure down to the mark that I have on my leg. Next, I'm going to measure the arm side abs. How I'm going to do this, if you turn to the back planet, I'm going to, can you lift your arm, and I'm going to put a pencil underneath Lana's arm, up tight to her armpit. Okay? Making sure that I can see it at the other side. I'm going to trace a line to the center of her back with my finger, which is here, and then I'm going to measure from the, the dot 
There's a padded case on the back of her neck. You just keep your head up, Rama. Down to this point. Oh, you stay there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Next, we're going to measure from the arm crease at the back to the other arm crease at the back. This is the cross back measurement. Is that the way you, you would have put that? This is normally shorter than the measurement at the top. Okay. Next, you stand sideways. We're going to measure the top arm. I'm going to place the measuring tape up underneath the armpit of your arm there and measure around the bicep. Make sure it's all side, it's all right now. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Come around here. We'll go from this side actually because we'll have these points tomorrow. Next, we're going to measure top arm from arm crease to arm crease. So that's the arm crease at the front, around the arm to the arm crease at the back. It's easier on this side because I have it marked. And measure from here to here. Next I'm going to measure the shoulder drop. So just holding the measuring tape there, I'm just going to put my finger where I took that measurement. And I'm going to measure from the line at the edge of the shoulder down to this point. Next I'm going to measure the shoulder. This is from the side neck point out to the shoulder seam of the dress. And then I'm going to measure the sleeve length, which is going to go from the shoulder seam of the dress down to the knuckle. And the last thing we're going to measure is around the hand with, a, with your fist. Make a fist one of them. Perfect. And that's our 21 measurements done.